Hey everyone, welcome to the brand new video series of Azure DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. I will be providing the URL for the playlist in the video description. Please do watch all my videos. So now we have created the project and we have seen about work item, board, backlog, sprint, everything we have covered in our earlier video. Now we are going to see about queries. Queries is an another component inside boards. And now if you are here, currently it is in favorites. If you just go to all, you could find two major folders. One is my queries, which means this query will be shown only to you. And this is shared query where you will be saving the query and you will be sharing across multiple team members. And here, if you just click on three dot, you could find new query, new folder. But if you click on shared queries, you could find an another option like security, which means here you can add access to your team members, which we'll see it later. Now under shared query, I'm going to create a new folder. and it should be under shared queries let me click on ok first let's create query later we can save it just click on new query and which will open up this particular window now here if you open up currently we are in editor tab and here you could find three default parameter which is already added first let's see this change the date so let's say for example you, you have a work item and you have modified it today so that is the change date and here you have a drop down to select what field you want as of now let it be change date and here you have operator greater than lesser than lesser than or equal to likewise you have multiple operators and here value value either you can type it or here it provides few expression and what is this current expression today minus 180 which mean it will pick up all the item which is having modified date within 180 days. It will use this particular field to pick up the work items. You can just simply run the query and it will list out the results. And if you want to see it in a maximized window, just simply go to results tab. And let me come to editor tab. In case if you don't want this filter, you can simply remove this. And let's see about work item type. So here you have various work item type, right? epic future user story so let's say for example i want to see only the work item type as task so work item type equal to task simple so in case if i want to see the work item type task and user story just go here and here you will find an operator called as in so here there is no way, way you could select multiple all you need to do is you need to type just put comma and type user story let me run it see it is picking up all the user story and task and let's see about the last one state so whether the state of the item is active or new you can select from here so i want to create a query where I need task and user story which are in new or in active active so in that case just click on add new class and it should be our condition and select state from here and active actually these two are clubbed right meaning like these two belongs to a single group whether state is in active or new right that is what we need new or active so in that case just click on this checkbox of both and here you could find an icon right group selected classes if you just select on it see and it is showing up it is grouped up so now if you filter you could find 23 if you want to ungroup just ungroup it and if you run query it is not showing up properly it is picking up even epics as well right even though we have given task and user story because here you it will consider this as separate this as separate this as separate so final tab final uh, filter is or state is equal to active this epic is having state as active that is why it got picked up let me group it let's run the query again so now let me add one more class and this time let's see about title so this is called as title i need the list of work items where title is having the word google so just go here and here you have contains 
type Google. See, these are the list of work items which is having this particular title. Now, let me remove this. And now let me remove this as well. I need the task and user story which are in the iteration one. So let me select this here and operator in case if you want to switch to R, you can do so. Let me type iteration path. And from this drop down, so this is the iteration path I'm looking for. And see it is listing out. And here, let me change the operator under, which means let me go here. So this is my current project structure sales under that beta under the iteration one, two, three, like that it is there. So if I just select sales and if I click on it, it will list out everything, whether iteration one, two or three. So everything it will list out, whether it is beta or whether it is under beta or release. So all the work item, it will be listing out. Now, now let me remove this filter and here what I'm going to set is priority priority as two. So let me run this. So if you see here, we are seeing whatever the work item which is having priority as two. And you can just come back to the query by clicking on this icon. And let's say for example, I'm querying from this current project sales. I want to run a query across multiple projects in my particular organization. This is my organization and these are my projects. So in case I want to run my query across this project, what I can do is just go here and here you find a checkbox, right? Just check it and run. See, it will list out everything across the projects. So here you couldn't still couldn't find the uh, project, which project belongs to, right? So here you have a column option. Just select this and just click on add a column and let's click on this drop down and type team project so this is the column we need just select this and drag it all the way up here so this is the dragging part and click on ok see now we could find the team project name here hope you know the count is showing up here now let's save this query and let me provide a name to it and here we can select the folder shared queries and I don't know why new folder is not showing up, but anyway, let's save it. Now let's come back to shared queries. And here, if you see query, we have saved it is here. Just click on the three dot. And here you have an option to run it or edit it, or you, you can rename it, delete it. Dashboard, we will come to later. And if you just select this option, it will add it to your favorites. Just select sales team and now let's come back to queries and here if you see under favorites you could find the sales team and if you go to all it is still there let me try to move this here what I move see I have moved it if, if you do drag and drop it will automatically move I don't know why for the first time it didn't get saved properly in the folder let me create one more query and we will try to save it And okay, this time it is crop properly coming up, maybe a uh, refresh issue. Let me close this. Now let's come back to query. So now let's see about security part. So first query is there, right? So let me select this security. I'm going to add access to your specific team. So which is AS hyphen dev team. So this is the one and contribute. So whether they want to make whether they can make any changes inside this. Yes, they should be allowed. Can they delete it? Mm, we can deny it. And can they manage the permission? Deny it. And do they want to read it? Yes, allow. So reader permission is allowed by default because this particular team is now added under contributor. That is why read permission is automatically there. Let me close this. And let me go to this query. And if you just click on the three dot, you have an option to email the query. Just select this, which you see what are the list of work item you have it here. You can just mail. Please make sure that if you are going to mail them, that particular person should be a part of the project. We can provide the subject and all. Now let's cancel this and let me go to editor. 
if you click on the three dot you will find an option like export to csv let me export this which will download the list of work item whatever you are seeing here see we are able to see everything now let me close this and if you go to chart just click on new chart and here you have various type of chart pie chart bar chart column chart everything you have just let it be pie chart now and let me name this work item count so here you have an option like how you want to group it whether by team project whether it wants to list out work item across all the project or it, want, it just want to list out the work item types so let me select team project first and let's and here you see the aggregation count of work item and the value you know it is providing color coding as well here in case if you want to change the color you can just do it and this is how it is going to be let me save this and let me come to editor and if you see this is this particular chart is based upon this particular clarity 233 so it is not listing out everything it is listing it is creating a chart based upon this particular priority and now you can create multiple chart as well so this time we will go with work item type and work item type and let's save the chart before we proceed further i like to highlight that it takes a lot of effort to make a video like this so i request you to hit the bell icon as well. Super thanks is now enabled on our channel in case if you wish to contribute I would really appreciate it. And here one more important feature is then if you just click on the three dot it will show additional properties. Let's say for example in case if you want to assign this particular future to someone you can do so and not only that you could select multiple items just click on control and select multiple item and for multiple item now you can change the assigning. So this is currently assigned, one of the features is assigned to Cloud Tech ROM and another is unassigned. So simply you can just go here and let's assign to Quili. See it got updated. So after updating, if you see, this is highlighted but it didn't get saved. So now to save it, just click on the three dot and here you will find save item. Only if you click on it, then only it will save it. If not, if you refresh, everything will go off. Just save it. See, it got saved. Now, not only that, now two of them is highlighted just click on the three dot and here in case if you want to delete multiple item you can do so and here you have an edit option what if you want to change the state of it or if you want to make, make multiple changes just click on edit and here fields so you will have various fields so you, you can select the whatever the field you want so let me let's say for example state so here you can just update the state of both of this currently this is having state as new and we are going to update to active and you can add multiple field and you can update multiple field at once just select this so now one more field got created this time i'm going with the tag so either you can add or remove so i'm going to add a tag already two tags are there maybe what i can do is i'm adding a new tag called as div let's click on ok and here if you see tag got added again you need to save it and now and here you have an option let me select this issue and here you have an option to move to a team project so which means we can move this particular issue to a different project as well so let me select this to which product to which project we need to move to eShop demo and what is the area path for it under this area path iteration so if you want to change some iteration you can select the iteration from here let it be in default and if you want to change it to some other work item type you can do so uh, let's say for example i am selecting it as task now it is currently bug and we are going to move to this particular project with the work item type as task and what is the reason for it just to try just save it and let me save this and if you see the team project got changed and it got converted to task and this is the task and and let's see what are the other options so here you can actually clone this work item or you can create a copy of work item let's do both so you can simply clone it actually it doesn't copy any title it just copied the assignee and area path and iteration and the priority as well but it didn't fill the details of title and description this is simply a clone meaning like just 
the skeleton and discard the changes and now let's create a copy of work item and this time if you see here it is suggesting whether you want to copy this as a task or epic so this time let's give it as a user story and where you want to be in the this particular project meaning like here in the eShop demo itself do you want to include links or if you want to include attachment as well you can just do so just copy it see it got created and attachment so if you see parent link also it got attached and you can save and close and that's it on this video see you again on my next video we have a lot of concepts to cover i request you to hit the bell icon then only you will get a notification whenever i'm uploading new videos i'll be providing the whatsapp and telegram channel url in the video description please do join follow me on linkedin to stay connected thank you bye bye